Hi. Everyone is talking about creatives these days. Creatives. Everybody wants to hire a creative. The corporate world, you name it, they want to hire a creative. Do you know what creatives know? Creatives know how to get messy. And they know how to live messy from the inside out. In fact, they call themselves messy. And I would like to know how all of you here are really going to strategize to create and sustain a mess in your life. <laughs> okay, now what is your business plan for a mess? And more importantly, how are you going to operationalize a mess? <laughs> operationalize and strategize. Important points that we need to learn. I have a few hints, principles, I'd like to offer you. Oh, I'll tell you them <laughs> first. <laughs> That'd be helpful, wouldn't it? In order, because we want some order. Well, there's proximity. Oh, what's the second one? Oh, yes, proximity. Proximity, deconstructability, and sustainability. So proximity. You know, I want you to take courage because a mess is nearer than you think. <laughs> you know, you don't have to get on the SkyTrain. You don't have to pay a lot of money to get on an all-inclusive. You don't even have to get on the B-Line. In fact, just the lights up just for a moment. Thank you. Just take a look to your neighbor. Just look at your neighbor. They're one hot mess, aren't they? Yes, they're a mess. You are a messy audience. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So you see, you see my point well taken. A mess is closer than you think. All you need to do is look at your neighbor, and they might look like they're not a mess, but they really are a mess. And not only are they a mess, they are organic. A mess is organic. It is gluten-free. It is within you. You carry it all the time. No matter where you go, no matter what you wear, it is there with you. My second point. I might have forgot the rest of my first point, but it is a messy talk, so I'll go to my second point. We may have to return, since there's not a PowerPoint in this. <laughs> is um, deconstructability. Now, I ride the SkyTrain a lot, and I've noticed that a lot of people don't have jeans that ha don't have holes in them. There are rips everywhere. <laughs> They're ripped, and sometimes in order. They are ripped, ripped, ripped. In fact, ripping is in. You know, messy hair is in. Your clothes misaligned are in. In fact, I encourage you, just wear the stain that's on your shirt outside your house. <laughs> no one will know if you got it in the coffee shop or you got it in the house at your breakfast. You don't have to change. That's what I do. They, they don't know. They just think you got it when you were having coffee, journaling somewhere. <laughs> you know, that's, it's, it's, it's right there. You know, there's an, also a show that I love watching, which now just thinking about it makes me hungry. It's Chef's Table. They put all these foods elegantly split open like an abstract Kandinsky painting. It's beautiful, and you're starving. And there was one session where there was a lemon tart. And the sous chef dropped it, by mistake, of course, off the counter, splattered on the floor, devastated. The other chef comes over and looks at it, ponders. Do you know what's on the menu of this five-star Michelin restaurant now? Oops, I dropped the lemon tart. <laughs> okay, what does that teach us? What is the lesson from that? Title your own mess, folks. That's all you need to do. You just need to title it. Some of you are very good at titling in this room. Titling it. Find your mess, embrace it, title it. Okay. Exactly. Are you worried that the mess may not be able to be sustainable? <laughs> sustainability, this is really important. Some people, I had an interview last week, and they said, how do you know you're gonna keep getting in a mess? I said, are you kidding? Do you know my life? My life is in a constant mess. I just, I just like attract it. <laughs> so if you're worried that you might not get in a mess,
mess or you might not be able to sustain it. Let me tell you, it's about math. It's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a principle that's deeply connected to infinity. It goes over and over and beyond and beyond and beyond. All the prepositions, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. <laughs> the other way to sustain a mess is, you know, when someone asks you how you are, I just tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 